Today we're going to talk about three push patterns into the open. Stay tuned traders, we'll be right back. Before we get started though, what I'd like you to do, one more time, you've been great, hit the like button for me. Helps the YouTube algorithm keep getting our videos recommended to traders and help them hopefully improve their trading, stay out of losing trades and hopefully keep showing improvements in their bottom line results. So again, I'm looking for major round numbers, double zeros and fifties. Occasionally, we will have a quarter level where a high and a low are and the market may be trading around the major round numbers. That can end up becoming an area where they're trapping volume possibly underneath. They could be working it and eventually trapping it underneath for a move off the round numbers. But on average, we're going to be looking for highs and lows that are above those areas and looking for stop lines into the numbers or for trades to turn or move from the major round numbers, especially double zeros. High and low of the day, okay, high and low of the session, same thing. If you have a high and the low of the US session and we go into Asia the next day and it's trading inside of the high and the low, that's the high and the low from the US trading session, from their high and low of that day. So we're looking for where the stops are. Remember, it's going after the money. And it's about one of those, somebody's short, somebody's long. One of those traders is gonna get stopped out. And so they're trapping volume inside. Whenever the market pulls back inside after the open or anything else, be prepared to step back and either identify a continuation move that's part of your playbook or understand that maybe now they're going to consolidate it, come back later, either look for the middle, middle hour gap time trade or into the next 12 candle window. Very important because when they consolidate volume, they're trapping contracts, they're trapping volume inside and even between sessions, they do the same thing in, and we'll see that occur over the course of the day. Three sessions, Asia, London, New York, we saw that Friday night, three pushes down, three sessions down, a double bottom reversal in New York and they hit the stops at the high of the day. The timings, understand the hourly rotation and 15 minute levels, especially when you're at major round numbers. They could take a 15 minute bar right down into double zeros and right at the end of that 15 minute candle, the next 15 minute rotation starts. It might be the second candle of an hour and immediately reverses and goes back up and takes out the high of that 15 minute candle. It's a second bar of an hourly rotation. We now have an engulfment a breakout pullback reversal for a, an hourly move potentially in the other direction. So little things that will start to make sense when you're using the one minute charts and you're down low or up high at the end of a 15 minute bar, especially if you're into a new hour and three pushes. So today we're talking about three pushes. Typically I'll look for this coming out of a session into the next 12 candle window. We might have a, a, a market in Asia. We might get a high in place in Asia and they might come back up a second time. We saw this yesterday, they came back a third time before rolling over, coming back up, and then in the gap time into the London Open, brought it down again. But those three pushes, get all the technical indicators, dragging traders in that long trade. In some situations, that three pushes can, can act like a squeeze as well, and we'll get an explosive move. We can see it in the other direction. We can see it over the course of Europe into the US, we can see it Asia into New York, we can, or sorry, uh, New York into Asia, but those three push patterns will show up a lot just as you're heading into the next uh, session. Sometimes that last push will coincide with the open of the session. The in inter introductory 15 minute rotation may take traders thinking that move is going to blow off into the false move direction before reversing and aggressively exploding. We will also see creeping trends capitulate and blow off in the direction of the trend. We will often see that in a weekly template. Day one, day two, day three, we saw that on gold and we saw that roll over. So again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we can see the market making new lows. We had an inside bar two Mondays ago. We had an inside bar yesterday. A narrow range day can typically either be the mid move consolidation for a continuation of a second week in the same direction, 
or the reversal now for a weekly move down, narrow range day, and a move back up. We saw that two weeks ago. So the narrow range day, the inside bar, very important to understand. Then we can start our count. Day one, day two, day three. They'll push three days in one direction and sometimes that third day may not go any further and it may reverse on that third day. Being a snowplow move, they clear out stops, they pull it back one more time and then trend on the following day. So three pushes, whether it's three days, we can see that over three weeks. If you look at your daily charts, you'll often see one, two, three at the very beginning of a month on the daily bars. Three bars in one direction it can be a stop hunt or the beginning of a new trend. So three pushes will often head us into the next session open or take traders into a blow off move which can again extend out for maybe three hours or a trend trade can be three hours in one direction before they pull it back and, and consolidate the market. So we'll look at some examples today. Stay disciplined, stay focused, have a great trading session and may the markets go with you. Good day traders, Stacy Burt from Stacy Burt Trading. We're discussing three push patterns today heading into the opens. So again, we have blue for Asia, pink for Europe, London, and yellow for New York. And again, you know, not every day is going to be the same sort of presentation, but three push patterns are something that I look for every day. They show up for squeezes, for explosive moves, and also blow-offs. And again, that comes back to identifying potentially uh, what type of week we may be in. Is it a sideways rate trading range? week where we're just basically trading in a sideways, you know, 200, 300 pip box or 150 pip box. Obviously, there's still plenty of opportunities. We want to look and identify major round numbers. So double zeros, 50s, are we in a 100 pip box? Where are the previous sessions highs? And going into Asia every single day, I find easier to recognize Asia in a lot of cases because there's just that extended window of time and consolidation often from where the U.S. has had its major higher low and then when it's gone into consolidation. So obviously it's not always easy and recognizable in terms of just knowing, oh, they're going up today or they're going down today. And even if you're in an up market, it still doesn't mean that they can't have a 50 pip move down before they move it up or more. So again, we're looking for peak formations and then how much follow through each move has. So an example of selling off in the US session, pulling back off double zeros after a stop hunt through 50 pip stop hunt through that lower lows, pulling back, pushing down again to the lower part, again identifying you're in a box and they're working the low, the low of the 100 pip box, selling it down again into the round numbers before engulfing. Now, on the one minute chart, we'd be looking for something around double zeros. On the 15 minute chart, we're looking at the same thing, but again, recognizing that we may only get a 25 pip move or so in that initial move in the uh, 15 minute bar. So we're looking for trades that help us identify that opportunity where we can enter the market and be out of that market, you know, within a half an hour, 45 minutes. So when we look at the one minute candle, we can see that move down into double zeros just before the market opens, it pulls back into the open, they stop hunt down and then spring up into the lower high, hitting stops, then they engulf, get people shorting this right into the double zeros, one, two, three, which is also a stop, a stop hunt and a breakout trade entry, possibly for breakout orders going short before they give a the little bull hammer pin off the double zeros. Again, we're looking for something off double zeros, one push, two push, three pushes, one, two, three, bull pin hammer, 25 fast pips straight up. It pulls back, traders might hold on for 50, and it second push, and then a third push, and it doesn't get through. I'd be taking the money off the table if I wasn't out with 25. But again, just identifying three pushes. So one push down, two pushes down, into the next session, three pushes. Now, we can see three pushes evolving through Asia. One push, two pushes, they take it up. Third push, and then the fast move through the peak. But we'll see these moves often end on three pushes heading into the window. So we see the market take off, one push consolidation, two pushes into the open, and then a one sideways, two, three to the high with a big engulfment reversal. So three hours or more, one push, two pushes, three pushes into a peak formation through the previous day's high. 
So again, this is an example of where the equities hour would have given us our trade off of 50 on the one minute. Or even if you traded the break of the bull candle up top on the 15 minute, the high bull, same situation. One bar stop. But again, understanding that over the course of this three hour window, we now have three pushes higher into the open of the New York session. Pretty sure this is a Monday. We'll just lock this in. It is. We have the gap. So there's a gap on the Monday. We had one push down two pushes down, three pushes down, and then the capitulation, the squeeze, blow off into the gap time open on the Monday morning. And then we see one push, two pushes, three pushes down into double zeros. So again, big bear candle consolidation. Three more bear candles consolidation and a capitulation candle into double zeros. The sideways price action and the engulfment reversal. So three push patterns into double zeros. But again, looking at the one minute charts, so when we look at the one minute chart on that three push pattern down into double zeros, the false stop hunt high to 50, getting traders to short this in the middle of the 50 pip box. It goes one, two, three down to the double zeros before pulling back. So again, allowing this first 15 minutes in most cases to trade, you'll notice that traders who chase these bars are, are getting filled on the inside of a 50 pip box. We want to see getting filled down low or up high. The market pulls back and then one push, two pushes, three pushes down. At the very first candle of the next 15 minute bar, we get our bull candle pin reversal, our little micro W structure off the double zeros. So again, just to clarify, people would say, oh, wait, that's crazy, the one minute chart, this and that. Entering in on the one minute chart is no, no different than entering in on the daily chart. When you have made a decision and a plan about where you're going to get in, it's going to take you a minute to click the buy or the sell button. Whether or not you're entering in based on the one minute chart movement or the daily chart movement is irrelevant. You're still going to put a stop in place. You're going to have a profit target in place. But you're looking to target specific entries with the one minute based on the longer time frame. Having a one bar stop to keep our, our risk tight. Again, our 15 minute bar might get us in 10 pips worse. So we're putting our stop in place and targeting 25 to 50 pips or more. And as we see in this case, the consolidation and the straightaway trade, which went uh, over 100 pips through to double zero. So if you took 50, you took 50. If you took 25, you took 25. You might have got re-entered uh, re this after you recognized it was a strong move. It doesn't matter. You learn from each trade. But point being, you had a plan. They had three pushes. We're looking for an, an entry possibly off double zeros. We get it. There's our trade. It goes sideways. Puts a little bit of heat on traders. Uh, some traders may have entered in on the second leg of RW off the bottom, off the double zeros. So again, some different variations of how these trades can enter. But again, looking for the three pushes on the 15-minute charts. So every session, every day will be different. But we will often see three pushes. One push. We see these subtle little pushes, the consolidation. That could be a third push or a second push or a continuation, the pullback and the follow through. So one push down, two pushes down, and then one, two, three blowing off into the U.S. session. There's lots of different interpretations, but identifying perhaps the underlying trend, but also even on your 15 minute charts, if the, if the move is vertical in the upward direction against an existing peak formation, you could look for the fail, the, fa the failed follow through the rollover. But again, looking at three pushes, even in the stop hunt, one push, two push, three pushes to the peak, the sideways consolidation and the bear pin hammer. The markets are constantly pushing in three directions and then either having a stop hunt trade and then a continuation. So they'll three push three pushes in one direction. We can get a vertical stop hunt and a continuation of that trend or they'll exhaust into three pushes and we'll see the move begin in the other direction for three pushes. So we can get three counter trend pushes, one push, two pushes, three pushes, and then the continuation move. We can get three pushes into forming a bottom, one push, two pushes, three pushes, pulling back and going into consolidation. So these three push patterns are powerful, especially when we get a big vertical move on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or we get three pushes in one direction. That can give us information about reversals and coiled markets. And we saw that a few weeks ago. 
We saw the blow off and the three pushes into a low. Heading into the close of the U.S. market, the pullback and the consolidation. And then we saw three pushes down into that consolidation before the market continued and blew off in the other direction. Creeping trend down, three pushes into the U.S. market before resuming that upward drive. And then heading into our session the following Monday, we see the market break through the new highs, uh, the inside bar breakout, and then three pushes down, one push, two pushes, Europe, London window, three pushes, the pullback, the consolidation, and the fast move coming out of that third push. So I'll look for these patterns on your charts. They show up everywhere. They can show up within a session, but the three peaks usually pushing into a session open or two peaks and then a third peak push into a session open can often indicate a, a fairly strong reversal move and in some cases a capitulation or a blow-off move if we're at a weekly high or a weekly low sometimes uh, reversing and going back in the other direction off of a compressed squeeze market so hopefully you got value out of today's video traders three push patterns we can see them on daily charts we can see them on the 15 minute charts we can see them on the one minute charts but we look for these heading into the open of a session for a fast move in that first or second hour taking our pips, being in and out, walking away, coming back for the next session and looking for something very similar. Have a great trading session and may the market Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.